Welcome to our Remind Mobile presentation. My name is Robert Rodriguez. I'll be your trainer today. And as a reminder, we do have Connie Nieto and she is joining us via the chat. So if you have any questions, please feel free and visit the chat and ask Connie. Before we get started, I do want to uh, show you that inside of our YouTube channel, which is Miami Trainers, we do have an overview already ready for you to watch. This is the Remind Mobile app. And today's class is being recorded and we do plan on loading it inside of our YouTube channel. Again, our YouTube channel is Miami Trainers. Simply go to YouTube and then look for Miami Trainers or go to youtube.com slash Miami Trainers. You can also join us inside of Miami Realtors Live, which is inside of your gateway. So by logging into your Miami Realtors gateway, you're gonna go ahead and click on Miami Realtors Live and you can watch all of the videos, all of the live streams, trainings, and much more inside of Miami Realtors Live. And that again is available for all members through your Miami Gateway. Today, we're talking about the Remind mobile app. And this is our mobile solution for the future. Of course, those of you that are already familiar with Remind, Remind is a, an excellent program that's available to all Miami members, uh, included with your membership. And it's Remind Pro that's here inside of the Miami Gateway. We do have separate classes for you uh that go over remind we have prospecting with remind so we're using all the different uh, tools and services from remind to do a little prospecting and then we also have the class called remind pro which goes over every single aspect of remind from mls use to public records uh also working with customers engaging with customers we also have cmas inside of remind so much more so it's really your one-stop solution for everything real estate you should give it a try if you haven't already we do have classes every month and also recorded inside of youtube and miami realtors live today we're going to go mobile so i am going to be using our mobile phones in order to use this program so allow me about one minute to switch over to my mobile device and let's get started so here we go you guys are looking at my phone at this moment. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to take you to the app store so you learn how to search for the Remind mobile app. So whether you have an iPhone or you have an Android, you're going to go to your app stores and you're going to look for the Remind app. Remind is spelled like this, R-E-M-I-N-E. -E. And you want to go ahead and click on Remind. And this is the app you want to download. All right, it's a, a modern MLS platform. You want to go ahead and download this app. Now, as a new user to Remind mobile app, it is going to ask you for your email address. They're going to send you a quick email that you're going to confirm. Once you confirm that, it will give you immediate access to the app without having to log in. There is no need for you to enter an ID or a password. Simply with that email they're going to send you, you'll be able to confirm that you are uh, an agent with the Miami Association of Realtors and it'll give you immediate access to the Remind app. Now let's go to the lower right corner and let's find the more option. You're gonna see it down here, it's three little dots and it says more. From here, you're gonna open up your additional pages and you guys are gonna see profile. You're gonna see engage, save, searches, contacts, settings, and then under tools, you're going to see mortgage calculator, tour log, and then documents. So if you're familiar with the Remind uh, version in the computer, these are pretty much all the options you have in the Remind computer um, on the version in the computer, but you have them on your mobile device. So you really have everything in the you know palm of your hands on your mobile device. So let's go ahead and click on profile real quick and then click on edit up here on the right hand corner you're going to see that your name is there the company that you work with your email and your phone number if you click on edit you're you're going to be able to upload your photo change your email address and change your phone number and then click on done when you're finished going back over here let's click on the back button you have engage we're going to talk about engage in a little while but here's where you get to see all of your customer activity so when you invite someone to remind to look at properties You'll be able to engage and see all of their activity and then save searches this is where you're going to see all the searches that you currently save inside of the remind app and also on the computer version you'll be able to edit your safe searches and also delete your safe searches and as well as look um, see the results of your safe searches let's go ahead and go back 
You also have your contacts. So real quick, how do you add a contact? It's very simple. Go to the plus sign that you see on the upper right corner and then add a contact to remind or create a contact group. If you wanna create a contact group, you simply click on contact group, give it a name. So let's go ahead and give it family. Click on done. Now you have a contact group called family. If you wanna add a contact, you simply click on the plus sign add contact to remind, it will open up the contacts on your phone. So it will ask you whether you want to allow remind access to your contacts or not. Obviously as any other app, you're gonna to have to accept. And then if you wanna add someone, so let's say I wanna add my dad. All right, so right there, I typed in dad, there's my dad right there. I can add dad to my remind contacts, okay? It's that simple. Let's go back. And then settings. Settings basically is where you can uh, see what plan you're enrolled. Everyone should be enrolled into the Remind Pro. And then you can log in as a customer so you can see exactly what a customer sees. You can sign out. And then you have other um, you know, system settings that you have down here that we invite you basically to go and review. Let's now click on the back button. And then down here, you have a simple mortgage calculator, which allows you to determine the purchase price, the down payment, the interest, property taxes, homeowners insurance, HOA dues, and then the loan term. And it's gonna give you your monthly payment. So that's your mortgage calculator. And then tour logs. We're gonna discuss how you can uh, basically do a walkthrough of a property. And those are called tours. And here's your tour logs, basically a uh, history of your tours. And then lastly, you have documents. Remind does allow you to, to prepare e electronic signatures or e-signs uh, with the system. So here you'll be able to prepare a document for electronic signing. All right, so let's go back to daily, which is down here. Daily is your homepage. So you're going to see your listings here. And if you have more than one listing, simply click on view all and you will see all of your listings in a list here. Okay. So that's daily. You have my remind live. You're able to stream an open house live on uh, this remind app. So we're going to go ahead and show you a little later how to set up a remind live, which is a live stream of your property and where you can broadcast it across Remind and also invite customers to view your live stream. And then there's other things like market trends, engage, lets you know what's going on, how many contacts you have, how many have you invited, how many have registered with you. Do you have any buyers who purchased properties with you? Do you have any sellers who purchased properties with you? And then any other listing updates. So all of this is inside of Remind um, Daily. At the bottom, you have search, you have carts, and you have chat. So let's begin with search because this is what we're here for, right? To learn how to use Remind as a mobile MLS solution. So the first thing you're gonna notice that it's gonna open exactly where you left off. So this is where I left off the last time I was using the app. So you're gonna go now and click on nearby on the lower left corner, and that's gonna use your location to pinpoint exactly where you are. So if you're familiar where, where this location is, I'm right at our headquarters in Miami Springs, right next to the airport. All right, so that's my location physically right now. You're gonna see in the upper right corner, filters. All right, so you wanna click on filters and then here you can decide whether you're looking for sale or for rent. So let's leave it at for sale. And then we have MLS status. We're gonna open up MLS status and currently I'm only looking for active listings. However, you can find active under contract, pending, canceled. You have closed sale on the MLS and closed sale off the MLS. Okay. You also have expired, hold, withdrawn and off the market. So let's go ahead and select active and then click on done. The next step is that, do you want to include closed listings? And we're not gonna include closed listings. We're also not gonna include open houses only because if you're looking for properties that are having an open house, you can basically select this here and only find properties with an open house. List price, let's open list price. And then you have where you can set a minimum list price. So let's go ahead and put in a minimum of $300,000 and let's put in a max of $1 million. Okay, so minimum of 300 and a max of 
one million dollars and then we have property value so this allows you to look for properties that have value you also have home equity this allows you to look for properties that have home equity that's excellent when you're prospecting for properties okay building type we're going to go ahead and select single family home you can look through condos townhomes multifamily, or other let's go with single family home and then let's click on done that is your property type and then for bedrooms and bathrooms you can set a minimum so let's say we want a minimum of three bedrooms and a minimum of two bathrooms so you can set your minimums you can set your max as well so let's say we do not want more than five bedrooms so three to five and we do not want more uh, than three bathrooms so we're going to go ahead and put it at three okay then we have over here square feet you're going to go ahead and say we're looking for a minimum of 1500 square feet and a max of let's say 3000 square feet all right so we set our square feet minimum you can also do lot size basement garage parking spaces floors year built ownership time so you can target owners that have been at the property for a certain amount of time mortgage age you can target owners that have a mortgage of five years 10 years 15 years or owners that have no mortgage so i love that one right owners that own their property straight out without having any mortgage you can also target owners that pay a high interest loan so mortgage rates so you can go with owners that pay six percent or more under interest you got sell score which we'll talk about a little later you got flood zone absentee owners so you can go after absentee owners whether it's corporate owned owner occupant absentee owner in florida absentee owner outside of the state of florida and then lastly we have distressed deals you can go after list pendants notice of default notice of foreclosure notice of trustee sale let's go ahead and go back when you're finished you want to click on update at the bottom and this is going to update your filters all right so in our general location i'm going to zoom out now on a map and we're going to try and find if there's any listing using those uh filters so there are some listings here you're going to start seeing them pop up on the map okay now if you want to see a property, it's very simple. You can click on that green logo and that's going to open up that listing. Or you can simply click on list, which is here at the top, and it's going to show you the properties that are on that map at the current moment. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at one property right here that has been on the market now for 36 days. This is a property listed at $540,000. If you want to see the pictures, you're going to click on the picture and then the pictures will open up and uh we're waiting on the internet to catch up a little bit there so now you can see the pictures you know in a slideshow see all the pictures of the property let's go back and then let's go back again underneath the pictures you have the list price you have the property address it's a three bedroom two bathroom 1828 square foot and it's on a quarter acre it's going to tell you that the property has been owned by the same owner for 30 plus years and here's the name of the owner alice wilder and owner occupant so it's uh owner occupied you have the mls number you have the estimated value on the property and the net equity on the property is 100 percent. so she has no mortgage on the property you have a map showing you the location of the property you can start a route so if you're on the road and you want to start a route using google maps you click on start route and it's going to open up google maps where it allows you to begin a route to this property okay head so, southeast on south royal point Siena boulevard right, toward let's, oakwood let's go ahead and exit out of that and let's go back to remind now all right so that's start a route you can also share the route with your customer by selecting share routes you can contact the listing agent either by phone, message, or email. You have the remarks. You have the agent remarks, which is the equivalent of broker remarks in the MLS. You have showing instructions. You have your listing details. All right, they're paying you 2.5% commission to sell the property. List price is $540,000, and it's been on the market for 36 days. It's about 10,200 square feet of lot size. 
you have over here bedrooms and bathrooms and legal taxes. So in 2020, the taxes were $3,807. You got the public records right here, and you'll see that it is a homestead exemption. When you click on show more, it'll show you more information. Owner occupied. If it were absentee owner, it's going to tell you in red right here. It's going to tell you that it is an absentee owner. You have HOA information, flood zone risk. You even have net equity on the property. Guys, those of you that use GoMLS or any other app out there, do you get this much information using those apps? Uh, I, I venture to say that you do not get this information. This is a lot of info just for one property inside of the Remind app. You also get schools in the area. You have a valuation on the property. Now, the valuation is pretty low. Let's go ahead and click on show more. You're going to see that you have valuation from First American, Black Knight, and also Redfin. You can always enter your own valuation. So if you think that valuation is low, you can come here and you can enter your own valuation on the property. This is not a CMA. It's simply just an estimated value on the property. Okay. Down below, you have some demographics, you have property history, you have assessment. Again, you have mortgages on the property. And then most importantly, guys, pay attention here. Most importantly, for every owner you find inside of the Remind app, you can click on the owner name and it's gonna give you the ability to call the owner and also email the owner. So if I click on call, you're gonna see down here the owner's phone numbers. All right, where else do you get that? If the phone number is on the do not call list, you will see a red DNC next to the phone number. So if they're on the national do not call list, you're going to see a red DNC letting you know do not call that number. Okay. And their email address, if you click on email, here is Miss Wilder's email address. All right. So you do have access to the owners and their contact information inside of the Remind mobile app. Now, if you want to share this property with your customer, you're going to go to the very top right-hand corner and click on that share icon you see here. And this allows us to share this property via text message, email, and it allows, it, allows us to copy a link, chat, and then also share the route. So let's go ahead and share via text message. I'm going to go ahead and uh, text myself. Let's text myself here. Okay, and let's send myself this property. All right, and take a look. All right, so there's the property. And when the customer receives this text, they're gonna be able to open it simply by clicking on this and it will open. So when they open it, it's gonna show them this here. All right inside of their browser. So they do not need the Remind app in order to open the property. It's gonna open inside of the browser and it will show them your information. It will not show them the realtor who listed the property. It will always show them your information. Now, you guys are gonna notice there's a little um, disclaimer here at the top or a little invitation to open the Remind app. If they have the Remind app already in their phones, they can open this property inside of the Remind app. If they do not have the Remind app, they're going to have an invitation down up here to download the Remind app. As a customer or as a member of the general public, they can open the Remind app. They can use the Remind app. And the fact that we invited them to the Remind app, they automatically become your registered customer. So it is important to remember, don't tell your customers, uh, don't tell your customers, hey, go to the app stores and download the Remind app. Invite them, invite them. So you can do that from your contacts. You can add the contact and invite them to the Remind app or simply send them a property like this and let them know that they can go ahead and download the Remind app. They automatically become your customer inside of Remind. Very important for us to remember, okay? So let me go ahead and go back to the Remind app. So that is how you share 
Now, if you want to create a CMA for this property, you see the three dots on the upper right corner next to the share option. We're gonna go ahead and click on those three little dots and then you have over here, create CMA. We're gonna create a CMA based on the criteria that you enter here. You have here status, so you can select active, you can select closed, you can select closed off the MLS, on the MLS. So you wanna select your criteria. Uh, you wanna select how, how far back you wanna go. You have six months here. You wanna select uh, whether you wanna go quarter mile, half a mile. All right, so just enter your criteria and then click on next. Let the system find comparables for you. And when you find comparables, you're gonna see that we do have uh, lots of comparables here. Okay, so when you do find your comparables, you're gonna see that you can remove some comps and you can also add some comps, all right? So once you remove the comps you don't wanna use, for example, if I don't wanna use this, it's too high, just click on remove and click, click on remove on that one, okay? And then click on remove here. And once you're ready, you wanna go down here and click on customize report. And then here, you're gonna be able to choose a color scheme. So you can go with the basic blue and black, or you can choose your own colors. Put in your customer's name and then present it by you. And then finally click on view CMA report. And here we have a CMA. You have the CMA report that includes a market value range. And it has over here a sold range from 150 to $700,000 with an average of 458,000. Days on market average is 16 and properties are being sold at 99% of the asking price. And then the estimated value of the property is $509,000. You got area demographics, valuations, and then your comparisons down here. Excellent CMA that you guys can do and remind from your mobile device. So there's no need for you to log into a computer and run a CMA report. You can do it directly from your mobile device. To email this CMA, go to the bottom and click on email report. And let's go ahead and email it to uh, Robert. All right, let's go ahead and email it to Robert Rodriguez and then click on submit. And I just emailed Robert a CMA report, okay? Very simple, let's go ahead and close this out. And that is your CMA. Remember, you guys are gonna go up here to the upper right corner, click on that three little dots, and you wanna go ahead and create a CMA. The last thing I wanna show you with this listing is that if you want to add to your cart, you see this little shopping cart up here. You're gonna click on that, prop, on that shopping cart and then notice I have some carts here. I got Miami Springs, I got Coral Gables listings, I got Coral Gate Weston. So I already have a Miami Springs cart here. All I need to do is then add that property. You notice how you have a check mark here. Add that property to the Miami Springs cart and then click on done. That property is now part of your cart, okay? Let me cancel out and show you how to create a cart. Just simply go down below, click on carts, click on the little plus sign, all right, and I'm gonna call, I'm gonna do a cart here for Miami Lakes, all right, because I'm gonna go show you properties in Miami Lakes. Click on done. So we have a cart now in with zero properties in Miami Lakes, right? So now let's go down to search. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go to the top up here, and then we're gonna put in Miami Lakes. You can search by city, you can search by zip code or you can search by address or you can go and draw on a map, okay? So in this uh, example, we're gonna go ahead and select Miami Lakes. And with the current filters that I have in place, I have all of these listings that are available. You click on list to see all the properties, okay? See how simple that was? Now you click on list to see all the properties. Of course, if you wanna see a property, you can click on it, or if you wanna go back to the map and let's say you wanna see this property up here, okay? We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And that'll open that property that's available for $850,000. You wanna uh, click on it and that opens up the listing, okay? Now let's go back here. If you want to save this search in Miami Lakes, you click on the save option that's on the upper right corner and that allows you to name 
the search. So let's call this Miami Lakes mobile class, right? So we know that this search came from my mobile class. Now, how often do you want to receive emails with uh, the new properties that come on the market? So we have as soon as possible. We have daily, weekly, or never. So being that the market is so thin with inventory, we should select as soon as possible. And then do you want to add a contact? I'm going to go ahead and add my contact, Connie Nieto. All right. We're going to go ahead and assign this search to Connie Nieto. And then do you want to receive a copy of the emails? Right here it says add me to the emails. Let's say yes, I do want to receive a copy of the emails. Let's go ahead and select that. And then finally click on done on the upper right corner. And that's going to save this search. Okay. Where are the saved searches? Remember, go down to more. Click on save searches. And then right here we have Miami Lakes mobile class and it is shared with Connie Nieto as soon as possible. We can edit the search by selecting the little pencil and we can delete the search by selecting the little trash can. Let's go back to the current location. Now, if you want to navigate on the map, we're gonna go ahead and zoom out, okay? Let's navigate on this map and then let's move south, right? Let's move south and let's find some properties in this area. If you want to draw, all you need to do is click on draw right over here. And this is gonna allow you to draw a shape and then finish the shape. Now we have all of these properties available in that shape. All right, let's go back to uh, map. If you want to erase the shape that you drew, go back and click on draw and that's gonna erase the shape. If you want to search for a particular building address, let's say you wanted to go to a building in downtown Miami and you know the building address. First thing you need to do is make sure that you switch over to condos. So go to filter and then select building type condo, remove single family home, click on done. Next up, you have MLS status active and then any bedrooms, bathrooms, and price. So just click on done. Now we're gonna go to the top here to the address and we're gonna put in the address of that condo. So let me put in 50 Biscayne Boulevard, all right, which is a building in downtown Miami. So 50 Biscayne Boulevard. So you got zip codes, you have schools, you have addresses, and there it is, right? 50 Biscayne Boulevard. Click on that. And here we are on top of the 50 Biscayne Boulevard building. So here are the building uh, units or the units in the building. So if you click where it said 49 listings right there, you're gonna open up here and you're gonna see the properties in this area. Now, if you know the address of a property and you want to study the property, we're gonna go ahead and enter here an address. So let me put in here 1020 Old Beachville Avenue, which is an address in Coral Gables. Okay. 1020 Old Beachville Avenue, and you're gonna see it here, click on it. All right, and there's the property, it is off the market. So what I'm trying to show you now is that you do have the ability to pull up any property and study the information for that particular property. Okay. And as a reminder, you can go down here and hear the owners. All you need to do is click on an owner and you will get the ability to call the owner or email the owner. All right. So there's the phone number and there's the red DNC. Notice how that phone number is on the do not call it. So do not call them. But you click on email and there's the email address that you can contact them. So finding a property inside of Remind that's not on the market is very simple. Simply uh, go to the top, put in the address of the property and find out more information about that property. Now, let's go back down here to more and let's click on engage. When Connie, all right, because Connie hasn't logged in yet, but when Connie does receive the email, I will see over here information about Connie and 
uh, the properties that she uh, search, um, you know, clicks on, and also the properties that she likes. So take a look at Michael Jordan over here. I'm gonna click on Michael Jordan and show you. I've got Michael Jordan registered as a remind user with me. And then you see here was his favorites. These are the favorite properties that Michael has selected. So whenever you send properties over to your customer and they select favorite on the property, you will see the properties down here. Okay. So again, uh, it's very simple. It's a CRM. Uh, it gets uh, allows you to keep track of your customer activity using the Remind app, and that's using Engage. Okay. Now let's go back to daily. And let me show you the Remind uh, Live Open House. This is a great deal. Now you see right here where it says Remind Live. All right, I currently have nothing scheduled. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to select a listing, and then this must be our listing, right? That we're going to hold a, an, an open house for. So let's select this listing. And then let's click on Create Live Open House at the bottom. So the live open house is gonna be for today, September 10th. And we are gonna begin this open house. Currently right now it is uh, 10.20. So we're gonna begin at 10 o'clock in the morning and then we're gonna end at 10.30, okay? Now, are you going to stream the open house live on Remind or are you gonna stream the open house live on Zoom or Facebook or Instagram? If you're gonna stream the open house, outside of remind then drop in here the link to your facebook page the link to your instagram page or maybe the link to your zoom if you are going to stream in remind you're going to turn this feature on up here that says stream live so let's turn it on you can select an alternate client host down here from your contacts or not you don't have to let's click on create and we now have an open house scheduled for today 10 o'clock to 10 30. okay let's go back to cancel let's go ahead and click on daily let's refresh all right let's refresh the system and notice now we have a scheduled open house here if you want to share this you can click on the three dots to the right hand side and you can copy the link and go share it via email or via text message or even on facebook you can place this link on facebook and invite people to the open house now once you arrive at the property and you open up your app you can click on those three little dots there and you can click on start remind live so this is very similar to uh doing a facebook live or an instagram live you need to be ready you need to know what you're gonna say. You need to rehearse because once you get to the property, this is what's gonna happen. All right, we're gonna click on Start Remind Live and here I am folks, I'm inside of our lab at Miami HQ, all right? And then you can switch it around. So we're no longer in selfie mode, now we're actually listening. And when you're ready, you're gonna click on Start Remind Live at the bottom. It's gonna ask you whether you wanna record or not. We're gonna say, yes, let's record. And here we go, we're live. So we have a calendar at the upper left corner letting us know how long we've been recording. And then to the upper right corner, you'll see viewers, the number of viewers. So you are live. So at this point, you're walking through the property and showing everyone uh, about the property in a live format, okay? You can always turn the camera on yourself again if you wanna talk directly into the camera. All right, so you can always talk directly to the camera. And when you're finished, you want to click on the little stop sign that you see at the bottom. You click on that stop sign and you pretty much paused it, right? You paused it. You can go ahead and click on Start Remind Live again and you can start again, okay? When you finish, you want to go back and pretty much that is Remind Live. You streamed your open house with all of your invited guests inside of remind now if i refresh this uh page here you're gonna see now scheduled and then past when i click on past okay when i click on pass and we go down here we click on view all and then once again click on pass you're gonna see all the way at the bottom 
that we have a recording that is currently processing. It's the recording from today, September 10th at 10 o'clock in the morning. We will be able to share this recording, notice here. All right, if you click here, you can watch the recording. You can see how many viewers you had. You can publish the recording, <coughs> excuse me. You can publish the recording, you can delete the recording, you can copy the link, all right? So that is Remind Live. These are open houses or virtual open houses that you can hold using the program. Now, any realtor using Remind can search for properties with a live open house and attend that live virtual showing. And then you, as the owner of the listing, you can invite any one of your contacts to Remind Live so they can view, or you can place that link in Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and get people to watch your live stream. Let me go back to contacts and let me show you something. So here we have Connie Nieto. If I select Connie, you wanna take a look at the bottom here where it says invite contacts. When you invite a contact to Remind, all right, you're inviting them to become your customer, to register and become your customer. The system is also, also going to ask them, would they like a free credit report? Let me go back to engage and show you, okay? I'm going to click on Michael Jordan and then show you down here. Michael Jordan is registered with me as a Remind customer. But Michael Jordan has opted to not receive a free credit score. The customer has the option, and this is not required, it's just an option, to receive a, cre a free credit score using Equifax. All right, so it's a great service that you're providing. By inviting them to Remind to become your customer, they're going to receive a free credit score with Remind. Again, that's optional. They don't have to. They can simply register with you with Remind and begin searching. All right? So I just wanted to let you know that when you invite them to Remind, they're gonna have that option to uh, receive a free credit score. So folks, I've been talking now for about an hour about the Remind mobile app. Do you see the potential? Do you see how great of an app this is? This is why we feel so strongly about the app, letting you guys know that this is the MLS of the future uh, on our mobile devices. Um, searching for property was very easy. Saving a search was very easy. Running a comp analysis, looking at public records, so much more uh, with this Remind app. So if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us, the Miami trainers. We are trainers at miamire.com. All right, folks. So if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to ask us there in the chat. If you don't, I want to wish everyone a great rest of your day and then a very happy weekend. Please stay safe. And we look forward to seeing you in more of our classes. Thank you so much.